And I, as a, as a side, just press the pause button. Uh, there could be listeners who could be hearing this and by no means do I want to be judgmental or pathologize people's faith. Right. Okay. So there could be listeners who really take these theologies and doctrines seriously. Yeah. And I just, yeah. and, and all, all I want to say to that is, you know, I want people to be where they are and who they are. I'm just, my task uh, as writing this book is there's a population, there's a group of people who are being traumatized by these things, by these doctrines. And, and you just named another, if there's a pie chart of reasons why people could be affected, there's been people who now they've been, sh they shared this, so it's anecdotally, but they're, they were traumatized because they thought, first of all, that their mental illness, they were possessed by a demon, right? So it created such a fear response within themselves. They could never be okay. They then equated that God allowed that to happen. That gets into another doctrine of God allowing things and planning things and being an uber puppet master who has a control of all things and actions and reactions that happen. But to think that your depression is uh, is because of demons, right? That gets into fear because what door did I open that God would have allowed this to happen? And right. since it's not going away, there must be sin and I must be disobedient. So it's a compounding of shame. And then you have that self-criticism. And you can see how the suffering can be compounded, not to mention a splitting off of one's aspect of self. Because uh, I've been in prayer meetings where someone could feel lust or uh, they, they have sexual passions or anger towards somebody or depressed. I bind you spirit of lust to get out or I bind you spirit of anger. Yeah, yeah. And so it, it projects what's inside on metaphysical entities. And what's strange is that sometimes there are ameliorative effects because, you know, if you believe it's a demon and someone in the community touched you and you get the oxytocin and then it was cast out, wow, I feel free. So that, that can happen. But I think it's a disservice to human beings to not be able to identify and own and accept natural occurring human emotions.